Another early Sunday morning here in uh, Thailand, 7.30, it's uh, 19 degrees Celsius, blue skies, no wind, so I guess it will be a good day for riding, but it will be hot soon, so let's go out there. So I'm back to one of my usual spots where I'm usually riding. This is the first ride since I installed the, the 52 tooth rear rocket. It'll be interesting to see if I can see some difference. If there is some difference, if there will be some it will be a little bit more torquey or what I can call it. That's a bit my hope. Not more fundamental kind of. Last time I was riding here I found a new loop up over another hill top. I can find entry again. I don't think that many people are riding there nowadays because it was you know tracks or so. We have also into the hot season, so it's going to be hot very soon. That's why I'm trying to go right after the sunrise. If I can find that entry, it should be there somewhere. I think it's here. Yeah, this one. Okay, let's start the new loop. It's uh, pretty covered in leaves. It was covering some big stones and rocks, so we'll see if we can avoid them this time. The trail is continuing that direction. There is one top up here and then the big top is up there. So I'm try going to try to zigzag up here if I can. There is no trail as far as I know. Let's see how it goes.
looks like there's some kind of old train. First stop, we have to stop and take a look. So I got up to the first top, I don't know if I can go up to the second one. I don't know if you can see in the sun. Maybe let's continue to see if there is a way up. So it looks like some kind of small trailish thing there. Well, here's actually some markings. So where did they go? I want to go up there. It could be very nice to see where this kind of trail where it's heading. But I'll go up there anyway. difference with the new rocket. It's not that it's an incredible difference, but it's chewing on pretty well, I think. My tires are very, very worn, but I'm not changing them now, because I'm going abroad soon for two months, and when I come back it will be the rainy season, so it will be very slick. This is pretty much as high as, in I, as high as I can get here, but in this direction there is uh, another peak, but that is, uh, I need to go down first, so we'll stop here, take a look. Let's continue, see if I can find this red and white straight, this red and white striped trail. Yeah, here it is. Maybe it's leading to the last oh. would be nice to see those dry so I know that I go to the right place. Coming. Is it coming up there, or is it going down? Because I don't know if I, which direction I come from. But it comes from here too. So this way to go. easy with the traction now and it's getting steeper.
much, hey? Up here then. I got there. This is cool. So I'm at the top. This is uh, 750 meters elevation and I started at 330. So that is 420 altitude meters I climbed and that's not so bad. And from the car and up here it was five kilometers. It, uh, Took me some time, uh, very slow in this technical with the stones. But uh, this is the tallest mountain here in this area, so that's quite cool. I saw one more kind of trail down from here, or maybe that is the one, because I can't actually find any stripes to go down here. And now it, it is the uh, air is so polluted, so I cannot see anything when I look out, otherwise, I could see which direction where I have the car and so on, but I believe if, is, if I go down there, if I can, I will come to where I usually go up on the, the other side of the mountain, a little bit lower than this, of course. So let's try to go down there and see if I can do it. This is the only stripe I can see so far. There is something on a tree, 12 o'clock, but I, there is, I don't know what that is, some other mark. Maybe I could go here somewhere. Looks like some kind of trailish thing. Yeah. It might be the top that Maku was climbing with his uh, green tractor, the KLX 140. Then I came up the, on the back side. I don't know. You can see. There it leaves. And I don't think it is that still tall. Not much of a trail here. Okay, it looks like a trail again. Some red and white stripes again. Can you hear the animals? Listen to this. <laughs> Sometimes we have those outside the house, as you can imagine. Pretty noisy, and especially in the night. I think I need to stop and take a look, scout a little bit. So I don't do anything stupid. It looks like it's going here, but I'll need to be sure what I'm going to do. Now it looks like it's going here, so let's give it a try. Trees. Many things to conquer.
Okay, a bit more tricky now. Can't really see where it's going. Here, I don't want to get over. can get down to the front wheel here, maybe I can get my feet tipping out there. This is deep. I don't know if you can see, but this is deep. Go first. Maybe I don't want that. Maybe I should have stayed on the ridge, but I couldn't see any stripes or so. That's one way to do it. Okay, I'm getting a little bit tired. I would like to come down from this, but I would like to do it in one piece. Ah! Oi. <laughs> Stuck in between the trees. I hope I can get the answer. I got past that one and that was not so easy, very close. But this is not much better.
So here I have two bad options. One down here, it's big rocks and it's steep, steep drops. And then I have this one, easier, a little bit easier around the bushes, then both are ending up at the same. Really bad option. I think it is 130 centimeter drop or something. And uh, on the left of that, there is another 50 centimeters. So if I go down there, I will never come up. So we'll see what happens. Here I have to, I cannot go down in, I don't know if you can see this one. Here, I cannot go down in this one, then I will never come up. My plan is to try to slide the bike down here. I need to take off my backpack first so I don't smash my phone. Yeah, I don't know how to do this in a safe way at least. Can't use the engine. And I cannot go there. Okay, the bike can't go, it seems like. Okay, first part, had to set it back up, back up to go over there, first rest. Okay, that one done. 
I'm at uh, around 500 meters elevation now, so I have a bit around 170 more to go. So let's go. Not according to plan. I had a mistake I did up there, taking the wrong turn on the ridge. That was energy wise very expensive, costly. This is not my kind of favorite riding. Extremely tired. I hope I'm soon down there. I fi finally made it out. I was actually 100% sure that I would have. I made it out. And I've been out there for five and a half hours, so and didn't have any cellular perception. So my wife, <laughs> she came to look for me, which is very, very good because I didn't have any more water, didn't have any car, didn't find anywhere to buy. So she brought that. So it's very, very good to have a thinking wife. I'm so tired now, and I also broke the bike, my gear shift lever. The bike held up, and I crashed a lot, fell, tipped over. So I'm totally, totally tired. I don't, I can't even speak, I'm so tired. So this is something that I really don't uh, advise anyone to do. I made a mistake on the ridge and that was not good. Could have been, almost have been fatal because now it's, I, I guess it is around 35 degrees Celsius now. So it's hot too and no more water. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.